Hello friends, in this lecture we will learn about C++ STL which is known as stack. So stack is just data structure so where when you insert an item so the last item that is inserted is the first one that you can remove okay so it's kind of a stack as the name suggests so when you insert items so item 1 item 2 item 3 item 4 i inserted four items they all piled up on the stack so like for example you have a stack of books so for your first book you in put on the table second book third book fourth book so now when you have to take out the book so you will take out the topmost book first then the next book this one then the book and then this book okay so this is what now when we pop out from the stack so four will come out first four will come out then three will come out so three will come out then two and then one so this is used a lot in very practical scenarios and hence this state data structure is quite important okay so we will now have a stl library stack and we will see how to use so stack now this stl library will make our life very easy because we can directly use it with any of our data type like int char string your user defined type classes so anything you can use with your stack and it helps you it has a lot of apis like push pop top empty full etc okay so we will look here we will have two stacks one is of type so you just need when you need to define stack you write standard stack it's just as simple as this standard stack now of what data type int so you write here int in this angular bracket then the name of your stack my stack okay then if i want to have a cat stack the only difference here will be standard stack and then you write a char here and this one my int okay my char stack okay so these are the two stacks that are ready for me now you can push any item pop any item whatever you want let's do it on my stack first the integer stack so i push 10 items onto the stack and then what i want to do i want to now pop out items okay so what would happen this is used a lot in reversing okay reverse whatever you had done the reverse way it will come out so i had pushed one two zero one two three four till nine when you pop those items so how will you pop so first thing is you can pop out elements only when your stack is empty otherwise it's not empty if it's empty you cannot pop out anything so if it's not empty so my stack dot empty if it's false so this means there are some items so my stack dot top part my stack dot top you will see what item is there and then you can pop that item out so we do it and then you will see that you will get the items in the order 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 then let's try out with my char stack so we push we want to reverse a string okay so let's have john here we want to reverse this string so what will you do you push j push o push h and then n onto your char stack and then just pop the elements out then you will get n h o j so these are the things that we need to check now and we will check it how so using our code so again we are just checking if the character the character stack is not empty if it's not empty it'll print the top item and then pop that out so let's try to run this first build it and then run it so you see popping out the elements nine eight seven six five four three two one zero so that's what we expected then reverse the string john using stack we push the items on the stack char stack and then you got n h o j so that is the reverse of the string john and that is you can so simply use your stack c plus plus stack class the stl library which makes your life very simple otherwise you would have to first build your stack class then use all these things but now you don't need to worry just use the stl stack class and you will be done so I hope you understand this. Thanks a lot.